Hi, y'all. I had no plans on making a video today, but I woke up with this thing. That's not my eye. It's pretty much what my eye looks like, however. A sty. These things are very contagious. So, number one, if you've touched this with your hand and it's kind of normal that you go, hey, what's going on up here? Go and wash your hands immediately. You do not want to spread this to your other eye and or anyone else living in your household. Second step, what do you do? Go for the chamomile tea. If you're allergic to this, don't do it by any means, okay? Don't. I know there are people who are, but for those who are not, this has worked really well for me. Get you some tea going, and while it's steeping, you're going to go and you're going to wash your eye off with some very gentle soap to get rid of the bacteria that are up there. Once you're done washing your eye off, and again, be very careful because, yes, it's sore, come back, grab you a cup, put some honey in that cup, and sit down and have a cup of tea. Chamomile is very good, and it will fight that from the inside out. The tannins are good in it. Really go and do some homework on chamomile and aloe vera because that's coming up too in this and that's going to help a lot. The same remedy also has helped me immensely for pink eye. I've been through that so many times without doctor intervention. But anyway, so as soon as your tea bag's cool enough that you can handle it, that you can touch it, you don't want it boiling hot, you're going to put it as a compress on your eye for about 15 minutes. Once you take the compress off, it is going to feel better. Then you're going to take aloe vera gel. And again, if you're allergic to any of this stuff, do not follow this method. But you're going to take aloe vera gel, and you're going to very carefully use, use a, a paper towel, TP, something, very carefully dab it on your eye, all over where it's affected and, and that it hurts so very badly. But the aloe vera, the properties in it, we all know it's good for a lot of things, but it will also stop itching and burning on these things. The effects from the aloe and, and the chamomile are usually about two, two and a half hours. Repeat the process as needed throughout the day. And the second one I wanted to talk about, which I don't have right now, but it's still a nuisance, fever blisters. My sister-in-law told me when I was about 17, when you feel those things coming on, get an ice cube on them immediately because it will make them come out quickly, scab over, and be gone within two or three days, and you're not suffering through all the pain. Those are my two hints for you today. I've used both of them, and they have worked very well for me. That's all I got for you. God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe.